yeah hi everyone in this video we will see how we can implement a ci cd in our uh, projects by help of gitlab okay there are some pre requirement for this video is that make sure you have a gitlab account okay if you do not have then go on gitlab and create a one account okay and make sure you install uh, you have a git in your system fine if these two things you have then we can proceed further okay so let's understand uh, what's our runner okay so you can imagine that runner is a kind of a machine okay uh, which is responsible to build your code test your code and deploy your code whatever the platform you specify in your configuration file fine so let's see how we can create our runner in our system fine so for that there are some pre requirement is that if you have a mac machine then follow this link i will add in description also fine and download it and install it sorry and you have a windows then follow this link we'll add in description and install the gitlab runner first fine the next step is to register in your system fine you have to register so the command should be if you are using mac then sudo gitlab fine now the next question is enter the gitlab instance url so what you have to do you have to just copy this base url as of now or you can do one more thing that you can paste the whole url at one time so we will not do that we will do in step by step so let's paste the base url the next question is enter the registration token how we will find this registration token okay so you have to come on gitlab fine so i'm assuming that you uploaded your repository on gitlab it's a very easy step if you are if you have any time used the github it's kind of like that only okay so once you uploaded your project on gitlab come on this setting and then ci cd option fine now come on this runner option expand it and here we will add a new runner from here so fine now we will specify our platform in which platform we want to make our runner so as of now i wanted for mac if in your case windows then pick this but in my case that is mac so i will choose mac so the next option are tags so what are tags so tags are useful in that case scenario let's say you have you created two runner okay for uh, yeah, and you let's say you have a three branch uh, main development or production okay so you created three runner for three branches fine and if and you want to run and you want let's say you are working on a feature a and you want once i committed code for feature a then then should pick by my runner one and if i commit code in feature b then that should pick by my runner two okay so on that scenario you can specify a tax you can give tags in your configuration file that this commit should be run uh, executed by this runner and this com uh, this commit should be run by or executed by this runner so in that scenario tags has help us to identify them fine so let's add few tags like flutter flutter web and flutter ah, yes fine so, and you have an option to add a detailed description 
of your runner this is flutter runner you can add something else fine now tap on this create runner now you can see here either you can paste this gitlab runner register on the first time when it's asked that enter the gitlab instance url but we are breaking the you know if you ask it then what you have to do now you have to just copy this token this one from here fine and paste it here now it's asking that enter a description for a runner a runner so what we will do we will add a description like this is my flutter runner sorry fine the next is enter an executor so in this case we will select cell fine so we register successfully our runner so let's see what's happen here runner is created uh, clean architecture come on settings ci cd we should have our two runner now because we have already one runner previously so you can see this is our latest runner which we created fine the next what the next step our we create our runner we registered our runner and successfully so the next step we will define our our gitlab file we will start the setup part okay fine so we successfully registered our runner fine and now the next step our would be is that we will start creating our configuration file fine so what you have to do let me uncomment first and we'll explain line by line so firstly what you have to do you have to create a gitlab yaml file dot gitlab ci dot yml file so i already have this file different created so i do not need to so once you created this file now we'll start see what we have to do here fine so on the first line what we are doing we are importing a docker image you can see this this is a public image you can simply search it here and find out docker app on this image all the flutter related dependencies here okay so we import this flutter image from docker app fine this make sure this would be a, a latest one because we are using from docker app fine now we will see what are the stages so in our project pipeline there would be several stages like we can define a stage uh, for our lint rules we can define a stage for to check uh, to for our test cases we can define any stage for our uh, de web deployment and we can define another, another stage for our uh, ios deployment and web deployment and so on fine so but as of now we defined two stages only in the further part we will see how we will define the another another stage also web build deployment part also fine so we declared this is stage field inside in stage field let's see declare the one first stage that is lens as of now fine so we declared here our first stage now we have to write what need to be done once this stage would be done fine so here we are giving the name of our stage stage and we are calling the stage which stage we want on this fine in this case we are saying that we want this lint stage for this stage fine the next thing is that we have another parameter that is before script a word would be here so let's suppose we are run, we are on lint stage and we want run some pre pre uh, pre requirements command to run successfully our lint rule so
so that pre-required commands we can put inside of our before script file. Okay, fine. So in this case, I'm running this bash command, bash reconfigure dot ssh file. I'm running this file. So let's see what I'm defining here. So create a reconfigure dot ssh file in your outermost layer, and come on there. This file. So here we are doing a delete our cache file. Fine, we are checking our freeze file and delete them from their print also. Then we are running flutter clean command and delete the log file. And then we are doing a pop get. And after that, we are running our build runner command to generate a code, uh, a code generator for us. We generate code for us. Fine. Once this our come this script is run, this before script bash reconfigure dot such, then we all come on this field that is script okay in script we will define the actual code which we want to perform inside a actual command which we want to perform on this particular stage that is we want to analyze our code so that's why we use flutter analyze command fine now this will analyze our code and if in our code there are some error then we will notify it and the pipeline would be Failed there, and there one more interesting field that is tags. So, as we also know that tags is for to specify which runner we want to pick once this commit is hit on GitLab or whatever the platform we are using. So we are saying that a runner who have Flutter tag that should be responsible to run our task fine so i hope you understand this stage what we are doing here we are declared here our stage then we are defining here fine now let's start define our next stage that is test we want also to test our application fine so let's declare the stage our second stage that is test fine then then give the name and call our stage fine in this case we do not need the before script okay so the next field is our script inside script what we are doing we are running this command first command is flutter test coverage we are running a flutter test command to test our file uh, to test our project then we are generating a cover code coverage for that in this line and then we are generating a HTML for that and in this case also we are defining the tags then which runner should pick for this stage and here we are also define a one we have one more field that is artifacts and in artifacts we are giving a path that is coverage we are saying that which the we are saying that please put all the generated HTML of our code coverage on this path on this folder we can also say coverage folder fine so I hope you have clear now these two stages what we are doing firstly we are initialize about this docker image flutter docker image there are all the flutter dependency there then we declare our stages that is lints and tests then after we are defining our stage first stage that is lint we give a before script field that we want this base command should be run reconfigure.sh inside reconfigure what we are doing we are, we are cleaning all the pub cases removing print statement delete and we are running a flutter clean command remove the log file then pub get and we are generating the running the build runner command to generate a code for us and then we are running our script to flutter analyze to check our lints tools fine and then we have another stage that is test fine so now let's try to run a new command okay now now let's try to put a new commit down in our repo fine okay so now we will we will do a new commit for before we do a new commit what we have to do we have to also make sure that our runner is 
started so how we can start our runner which we registered inside our repository we will use command sudo for mac gitlab runner run and then you have to put your password system password fine now you can see that our runner will start fine so now what we will do so now we will start to a new commit as you can see that there are no changes let's make some changes here uh, inside main what we can make change okay let's make some changes in presentation there meme home page and error let's add comment fine we'll add it git add let's do a commit git commit minus n uh, add CICD adding CICD let's do a commit message then let me post it fine now let's see what's happening here come on our repository fine and come on this section ci cd and this is impending but this would be picked and wait for just one minute okay see now our pipeline is start now so you can see that our first stage is running lint and if you come here setting ci cd then see come on this runner tab and see this is active now the green symbol is now active fine let's see what's happening here come on this and this and then we will see what is happening here inside lens your command whatever the command you specify here inside lens that are executing you can see here our base reconfigure are execute fine this would take time so let's wait for a few seconds and once this is succeed we'll come back okay see our first stage is passed and now see what's happening if you see that our first stage is passed now the second stage would be run that is unit test this is impending if you come on this CICD this would be picked okay wait for a few seconds this stage is also we passed then we'll come back see our both stages are passed our first stage was lint and the second stage was unit ends. and if you open one by one see what is happening here run our before script command is run base reconfigure once this is done then our flutter analyze command is successfully run and our next play stage was test and if you come on test stage then see what happened or all the test cases are also passed fine so we we see how we easily add our lint and test stages and we find the script here in the next part what we will do we will add our next stage that is web deployment web build or the ios de uh, ios deployment uh, android deployment sorry okay so let's start that